Mohammed bin Salman is the most powerful figure in the Arab world. Known as MBS, the 32-year-old is lined up to take over for his father, King Salman, and become ruler of Saudi Arabia. Regarded as one of the most conservative countries in the world, Saudi Arabia is an authoritarian, absolute monarchy where women's rights are extremely limited. But under MBS, things are changing rapidly. 11 Saudi princes and nearly 200 businessmen and government officials were recently arrested as part of the so-called crackdown on corruption in the kingdom. The purge of senior princes, business people, media owners and so forth is really about several things at once. It is partly about sending a message to the ruling family that the old ways of doing business are not going to be tolerated at a time when the country can't really afford them. But it is also a way of MBS consolidating his control over the ruling family using a cause that he hopes will be a popular one. MBS has also called for Saudis to practice a more moderate version of Islam, granting women in the country new freedoms. But not all his steps have been progressive. Mohammed bin Salman has taken a number of steps to give women more rights, most importantly enabling women to drive. However, when it comes to civil and political rights, those are at a very low level in Saudi Arabia, and if anything, they are going backwards. So there is a sense here that the Crown Prince is trying to take the country strongly in a new direction, but not in a consensual way. The risk is, of course, stirring up opposition on various fronts when changes are happening so dramatically with little room for debate or negotiation. Reform at home comes with renewed aggression in the Middle East. MBS has blockaded neighboring Qatar, allegedly encouraged Lebanon's prime minister to resign, and continues to support a proxy war against Iran-backed rebels in Yemen. Whilst the likes of Donald Trump have supported such bold measures, U.S. officials have expressed growing alarm over his so-called reckless behavior. Mohammed bin Salman is trying to do a lot of things at once. To simultaneously transform the economy, make it more open to foreign investment, while radically altering the balance of power domestically and pursuing a number of foreign policy adventures is a very difficult combination. Unfortunately, some of the foreign policy decisions that are taking place and some of the domestic political realignments will probably undermine the success of the economic vision. Such dramatic reforms risk destabilizing the region and could provoke a backlash from conservative clerics and disgruntled members of the royal family who have been pushed aside. I don't think we'll see mobilization against Mohammed bin Salman anytime soon because the risks of doing so are very obvious to, to everybody. But there's a very high degree of uncertainty. You can see the seeds of opposition to Mohammed bin Salman in various sectors of society, but there's no real way for people to articulate or manifest that within a system which is authoritarian and seemingly becoming less consultative. So you're going to have a high degree of uncertainty and rumours will continue to fly. Whether MBS will succeed in his revolution from above remains unclear. His bold moves, both at home and abroad, present a huge risk to the stability of the region. But if they pay off, he could dominate the Middle East for decades.